violate federal criminal law, you will be convicted. I have the highest praise for Dave Lewin and Zach Belitho, the assistant U.S. attorneys who achieved this conviction. And uh, I hope the, I think, that the verdict instills trust in our judicial system. There's a formula under the federal sentencing guidelines, so it's kind of hard for us to guesstimate what that would be within a range. But it could be up to three years per charge. Uh, it could be, but it's it would not all be stacked on top of each other. I think it's safe to say that. But I, there's a formula under the federal sentencing guidelines. And monetary? Well, up to $250,000 in monetary fines. What was the sticking point for the jury? Any cue at this point? Why did it take so long sure. for them to? I've been doing this 37 years. I have yet to figure out juries. I'm not sure anybody who reports to be able to knows what they're talking about. Uh, we have every confidence in the jury's verdict. We have every confidence in the judicial system. And I think this verdict uh, confirms that. Was there a point at which you all were kind of questioning what the outcome was going to be just because it was taking so long? Well, these guys can address that. I don't think they ever wavered in their commitment that there was a federal criminal violation and that they prosecuted from the beginning to the end with that uh, mindset. Okay. Do you guys want to elaborate on that? The feelings? No? Okay. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, nice to meet you. Uh, yep. Hey, how are you doing? Nice to see you.